All right, so long. All right, so long. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh Shai, the honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations and much love to you brothers out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. And um, as you see the title, um, the brother in, in Puerto Rico, it goes by the name of Yahweh Allah, Yahweh Allah, and um, this is his Hebrew name. Uh, his uh, YouTube channel is uh, Samaka Moth. Brothers, uh, see him on the comment board, see his videos. Uh, brothers out there in Puerto Rico, you know, pushing out the word under G, uh, the GMS doctrine. He doesn't have GMS on his name, but you know, he's uh, pushing out the same doctrine and whatnot. So, you know, my brother's good though. You know, he got in contact with me finally. Um, last time I had got in contact with him was before uh, Hurricane Irma hit. You know, we talked it up. We I threw up some blessings for him, told him the brothers to have him in his prayers, and then I haven't heard from him since. And that was a good two, what two weeks ago. Let me see when Hurricane Irma hit Puerto Rico. That was about two weeks. Yeah, two about two weeks ago. But uh, yeah, so so uh, Puerto Rico's been out of power these last couple weeks. The brother said, "Well, let me just read some of the." He's, he was able to um, get to a spot where they have uh, you know generators running the location, so he's able to use the app, I guess, to a uh, text. So he said he was able to send me a text, but uh, let me just read some of the, the let me just read some of the text so brothers can uh, get a feel or, or a visual, so to say, uh, of what's going on over there in Puerto Rico, <clears throat> because it, contrary to the popular belief and what the um, what the news stations are showing, you know, Puerto Rico is in a lot work, worse case than uh, would appear. You know, they're saying they're sending all this aid and food and whatnot, but there's thousands of millions of people not getting nothing. Okay, and there's still there. I seen I was watching the news earlier. They're saying there's there's helicopters flying around, still finding people dead in houses. You know, the death toll just keeps going up. Okay, and this is what the brother Yawala said. Um, all communications are down down in Puerto Rico. Where said I miss being online. I'm calling from the service. You know, over 200 dead. The morgue was so full. I'm guessing this is in his area. 200 dead. Uh, the morgue was full in hospital. Also, there was a uh, 200 dead in the hospital morgue, and who knows how many more still pushing out, having stuff. So the brother's still going out there on the highways and byways, even though he can't put up the videos. He, brother's still going out there on the highway and byways, uh, letting uh, people know, letting Ephraim know. Uh, tell my people. Hold on, let me grab a scripture real quick. Quick scripture, real quick. Ah, it's lucky this damn app be fucking up sometimes. Slacky, I came this uh damn app like so fuck up. But anyway, you know, the brother's still going out there on the highways and byways, you know, he's out there pushing the word. You know, call like how about me all shy. The brother wasn't uh you know, he wasn't he wasn't hurt in any way like that during the storm. You know, the brother made it through there. And actually let me read uh some one of the messages that he sent. Okay, he said Please tell the elders that I'm still on the streets pushing, but no internet. You know, he said blessings to all you brothers out there. He said there's heavy military on the road, so it's pretty much martial law out there right now, out there in Puerto Rico, which, you know, it's all tore up anyway, but uh, according to the brother, he said that they got uh, heavy military police in the streets, so to say. He said that um, there's reports of people pulling out guns inside of banks because they can't get their money out he said there's lines uh, of up, up to over 300 people in lines to get their money out of the bank which that shit ain't gonna do nothing they people wasting their time 
he said, hey, this, this, and this is the key point, though. This is what I want to do the lesson on, bring out some scriptures on it. The brother said, Maria destroyed everything except my town from what the soldiers told me. My town was the least hit. Hey, man, call out your house, my So of that small ass island, the least amount of damage took place in the town the brother's in. Okay. And, that, and that's beautiful, you know. That's beautiful, man. Of all, of all the towns, you know, you know that uh, of all the, of all Puerto Rico, the the town that least got damaged was was the town the brother just pushing out his word, you know. And and that, that goes to show you, man, the Most High is dealing with certain men on this on this earth. You know, it's, and it's not to be uh, taken lightly. Alrighty. But like I was saying that the brother's still out there on the highways. Highways and byways. You know, proclaiming this truth, man. It, it, the truth don't stop, man. So there's really no excuse for any of us, man. Not to be going out there on the highways and byways. You know, when this brother is out there in, in a, a, a little island that's been destroyed by a hurricane, pretty much, um, it's like a martial law, and the brother's still out there, man. He, he ain't got, he barely getting food, ain't got no internet. But he, he's still he's still going out there, and that, and that that's because the, the Lord commanded us to do so, man. He's out there letting the people know why Hurricane Irma destroyed Puerto Rico. Isaiah fifty eight, cry aloud, fifty eight and one, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. Hey, hey, that brother's out there proclaiming, uh, um, the truth and showing our people their sins, man. Their uh, their transgressions, man. Ephraim got to know why they getting judged, so that. That brother's out there, you know, he's still pushing out the word. And this is, uh, let me get into the lesson now. Uh, Nahum chapter 1, verse 7. Yahweh is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knoweth them that trust in him. So, yeah, the, the most high, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, man, he knows who who, who trusts in him, okay? The most high, is, it, it's not like uh, gets dumbfounded when he sees a, a Somebody trusting him, he he knows uh, of them that trust him. Okay, and he's a uh, he's a stronghold in the day of trouble. And look, uh, 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 it's evident. Look what happened to the brother. Uh, uh, lots of people died, but what the brother's still safe and sound. He got he uh, put his trust in the Lord, and the Lord delivered him out of that. What could have been a, a catastrophic um, brother. Uh, uh, that's a lot. A lot could have been a catastrophic uh, event for him, you know. But um, go to the next verse here, and that's why you got to put your whole trust in the Lord, man. You can't be wishy washy. Maybe I trust in the Lord, maybe I don't. Now you got to be wholeheartedly believing in the Lord, calling on the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know. Um, get back here, okay. Uh, this is uh, Psalms chapter 9, verse 10. And they, this is like, let me start at 9. Yahweh also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. Hey, Yahweh Bashim Shai is a refuge in the time of trouble, okay? That's why that brother was able to uh, um, get delivered out of, out of that, that, that time of trouble that, that Puerto Rico just went through, man. Okay, verse 10. And they that know thy name... What name? The name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. This is actually, that's why you know it's about the it's, the name is very important. Okay, I I see is full of shit. It says, "And they that know Thy name will put their trust in Thee." So if you don't know the name, how are you gonna put the trust in the heavenly Father and His Son if you don't know their name? Okay, will put their trust in Thee, for Thou Yahweh has not forsaken them that seek Thee. That's beautiful. The Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai don't forsake them. That, that seek him, okay? Most high is not gonna forsake you if if you if you if you truly and sincerely uh believe in him, man. Most high is not gonna forsake you. Why would he forsake you? 
you're supposed to be a, a, a one of his men, his little his, his soldiers. You're not gonna forsake and leave uh, uh, leave uh, one of his soldiers stranded. Okay, let's uh, get a scripture to go with that. Let me read it again. It says, uh, "And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou Yahweh has not forsaken them that seek thee. So the Most High has not forsaken them that seek them." Okay, and this is um this, uh, Ecclesiastes two and ten. And, and whatsoever mine eyes desire, hold on, it's like, uh, so oh, it's rock two and ten, it's a lot. When I miss Ecclesiastes, all right, uh, this is rock chapter two, verse ten. Look at the generation of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded, or any did. So like, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? So the Most High is not going to forget, oh, uh, you know, them that call upon his name, man. He's not going to forsake you. The scripture said, "Look into the past. Who was ever, who was ever, um, forsaken? You know that, um, that that feared the heavenly Father. Who who did he despise that called upon his name? Back in uh, Psalms nine and ten. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee, for thou, Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee. And how you seek them, man? By coming back to these law, statutes, and commandments. How shall a young man cleanse his ways? You know, you're supposed to come back unto the Lord. Um, brother put um, Psalms 91 and 14. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Hey, beautiful. That's what that brother was doing, man. That brother called, and kind of, I was about to bring that out too. The the first Maccabees, the brother, uh, um, he set his love on the heavenly Father, man. He didn't set his love on these on these carnal things, right? And what the the Most High delivered him, okay? He he delivered him, man. He delivered him delivered him out of out of the the chaos that is in the midst of Puerto Rico, man. He's still out there on the highways and byways, and uh, and, and to go with the precept that I just read in um in uh Sirach, Chapter two, verse ten, where it said, "Who who had the most high? Who was the most high forsaken?" You know, we keep going on that, like the brother just put up in uh, First Maccabees two and sixty one. But I must start at uh, I must start at fifty two, because it said, "Who look in?" The, uh, matter of fact, let me go back to Sirach. Sirach two and ten said, "Look at the generations of old, and see did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded." And now we're gonna look at the generations of old. What what, what the scripture was talking about. Or some of them. This is a uh, verse. Uh, First Maccabees two and fifty two. Was not Abraham found faithful? Intent, intention, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Joseph, in the time of his distress, kept the commandment and was made lord of Egypt. Phineas, our father, and being zealous and fervent, obtained the covenant of an everlasting priesthood. Jesus, or Yahushai, for fulfilling the word, was made a judge in Israel. Caleb for bearing witness before the congregation received the heritage of the land. David for being merciful possessed the throne of, of an everlasting kingdom. Elias for being zealous and fervent for the law was taken up into heaven. Ananias, Azarias, and Mishael, Mishael by believing were saved out of the flame. Out of the flame, Daniel for his innocence was delivered from the mouth of lions. And thus consider ye throughout all ages that none that put their trust in him shall be overcome. Okay, so none that trust in the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushara, is going to be overcome, man. And it's a clear a clear example of what happened to that brother, man. It's a beautiful example, man. The water Yahweh Bashim Yahushara, you know, not only for uh, uh, delivering that brother up out of, uh, out of the chaos out there, the death and destruction, but for 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 show, uh, using this to give brothers a, a faith boost, a faith booster, man. You know this this gets brothers excited to hear the, that that of all the towns in Puerto Rico, the town that with the least amount of damage is the town with that the brothers in. That that's that's mind blowing, man. For, to, uh, on the, on to a two third or, or somebody that's not get not in this truth that can't can get this, but to us we understand that it's the heavenly Father protecting His men. Okay, he's he's not. That's the heavenly Father uh, uh, fighting for his men, not forsaking his men. Okay. Get a quick precept. There's a wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse nine. 
they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. So you see, so if you put your trust in your how by Shimia Shai, you're gonna understand the truth. And just like I was saying, you 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 it, 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 we understand we understand why this brother uh is in the town with the least amount of damage. We understand why this brother's okay. Okay, and uh, it's lucky one second, let me get the charger for the computer. Bear with me. There it's lucky. But karma, going back to that, uh, wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. So if, if, if grace and mercy is to his saints, Okay, the 144,000 beginning with the 144,000, his elect. Hey, that's how you know that he, he's taking care of, of brothers, man. Because he has care for the elect, man. And the elect are the ones that are going to be calling on his name, not forsaking him, man. That's, that's what it's about, man. This is this is really, hey, man, That when that brother texts me, man, I, my, my whole day changed, man. I lit up. I lit up, man. That changed my whole day. It's beautiful, man, to hear from a brother, man. Especially knowing the situation and the circumstances, man. There's gonna be a time where you're gonna desire. Uh, the scriptures say you shall desire to hear another man. You know, roughly paraphrasing. And so we, when we get to hear brothers that you know we we're not sure how they doing, man. Hey, call like how about Shimiel Shai, man? There's nothing else, you know, you can really say about it, man. It's beautiful. Kind of brother said, prayers of a righteous man availeth him much. That's right, man. Brothers were praying, you know, putting up prayers for that brother, man. And look, the, the, the most high delivered him, man. That's a hey, the, the hey, hey, well, uh, this, how I said that, you know, asking in my name, he, he shall receive it, roughly paraphrasing. Hey, the brothers were asking, uh, how about Shemal Shai to protect that brother down there, man? And look, he got, he got, he got, um, you know, he, he's good, man. Same thing with the brothers in Houston. You know, same things with the brothers in, in, in Miami. Same thing with the brothers here in Tampa, man, with the Hurricane Irma. You know, it went, it, went, it, it completely escaped us, man. It, uh, the news channels were dead set. Oh, it's coming to Tampa. Oh, first it was dead set, it's coming to Miami. Then it was definitely coming to uh, Tampa. And look, it ended up going right in the middle of Florida, man. Didn't, it, didn't even, uh, uh, didn't really do much, you know, too bad. Not like in Puerto Rico and in Houston, you know, and in, in, in other islands the where Benjamin, uh, resides okay uh psalms 28 and uh verse 7 uh bless slot verse 7 the lord is yahweh is my strength and my shield my my heart trusted in him and i am helped therefore my heart greatly rejoiceth and with my song will i praise him so see look it said that he is my strength and my shield and what is this what is your strength and your shield something that that protects you in in in, in flight in fight mode right you know your strength is, is, is going to get you uh the victory your shield is to defend you during uh the fight okay and it said my heart trusted in him okay my my mind must and i am help hey that brother trusted in you how about some y'all shine he is help man he was he was helped, man. He he had a, a hedge around him, man. The Most High had a hedge around that brother. While while niggas was was getting tossed to and fro, uh, trees uh, going through the windows, those little metal huts in the in the mountains up there in Puerto Rico. While those things were getting torn down, the brother was chilling, man. The you, you know the bro, I had talked to the to the brother because Puerto Rico got hit. You gotta remember Puerto Rico got hit by Irma too, not directly. But, it, you know, the brother, I had talked to the brother uh, after Irma. And uh, he said that the wind, it was so, it, it was powerful. It was so powerful that it sounded like a demon uh, screaming, man, at, at, through the window. Just, woo, you know, just a real intense noise. And the brother said he, he was shook up, man. So imagine this one, which went uh, directly through Puerto Rico, man. It was, uh, wind speeds up to 150. I forget the exact number, but it was up there in the 150s, man. You stand on the side of the highway and let a car fly past you at 150, man. So imagine constant winds, constant wind at 150 miles an hour, man. 
That's enough to make a grown man shit his pants. But what? The Lord had had a hedge around him, man. Probably up his block, somebody who got got sliced in half by a street sign. But what? That brother was in there chilling, praising the heavenly Father, rejoicing. Okay, because I'm sure as soon as this hurricane was over and he went outside, the brother would probably look around like, "Holy shit!" And his heart was re like the scripture said. Therefore, my heart greatly rejoices. Hey, that brother was was greatly rejoicing when he, when he made it through that man. So imagine how much our hearts gonna be rejoicing in in the kingdom, man. When when we make it on them chariots, when the heavenly Father cracks them skies, man. When Yahweh Shai comes back, how much how much more will, will we be rejoicing then, man? It's gonna be the greatest day ever, man. But you know, I don't want to keep rambling on, man. The, the whole whole purpose of this was, man, j just to uh, uh, let brothers know that the brother in Puerto Rico is good. You know, just uh, brother spread the word. Let, let everybody know that uh, that the brother um, uh, channel Samaka Moth, he's doing good. His name is uh, uh, Yawa Allah. You know, uh, I know uh, brothers from Chicago had asked, brothers from Miami, and so on. But, um, you know, just keep that brother in his prayer. And your prayers, you know, things are still tough out there, man. They still ain't got no power. Uh, food, uh, there ain't no food, there ain't no water, man. They all the all the supplies that they're sending over there, that shit ain't getting that out to the people, man. That shit ain't making it out there. The only people getting supplies is like hospitals and shit, and that's about it. But other other than that, motherfuckers are are, are gonna start, you know, ripping the, each other to pieces, man. Hey, and and, and, and prepare yourselves, man, because that's coming here to, to America, man, real soon. Okay. Look, it happened in Harvey. Or it happened in Houston. You know, it's gonna continue to grow. They got a hurricane over there. Another hurricane. Uh, what is it? Uh, Nate. You got a hurricane. Nate. Nasty Nate. You know that. That's probably gonna do some damage, man. You know, hey, the Most High is speeding things up. You got the the massacres over there in, in Vegas. You know, you got all kinds of things going on right now, which is beautiful, man. Hey, speed things up for us, man. Please, you know. And keep the keep the men of the uh, the elect safe. All right. And that I want to say Kahala Yahweh by Shimiao Shai. Yahweh by Shimiao Shai Barak Kalakyum. Shalom Akyum. Stay strong. Keep that brother in your prayers.